can you hear me? Yeah, I'm, go, I'm streaming. Go, I'm, stre I'm streaming out. So we'll start recording, and then I'll play one of their songs there. And then, like I said, just not over my direction, right? All right. All right. Serving. I never stop working, hoes like twerking, pussy for a person, a lady in the streets, but I freak behind the curtain, I tried to tell her, don't be a pussy seller, for a knockoff coach person, a fucking cigarella, say you all about your cheddar, but you know you can't do better, say you looking for a baller, money makes that pussy wetter, on a late night, creep might turn you a trick, for a big face, you might run through a click, on a good night, you might stack you a grip, on a bad night, you might walk away with shit. Uh, I tried to tell them hood hoes ain't shit So pay attention to this lesson when you're stacking your grip You on a late night creep, homie bet not slip Cause these hoes nowadays will make your dick drip It's like every time I'm rolling All by my lonely player haters eyes swollen Trying to figure what the boy Pope Frost is holding Wheel so clean and the wrist stay frozen Blowing, come on Rolling 20 deep I'm steady on that creep In the concrete, see me riding with the homies. Yeah. Catch me up in the dim lights, a relic from the good life. Except when they beefing with me, beefing see they sensing me. them, seeing them, ceasing to breathe. Making deals in the mad ways, I'll make it with y'all getting paid. Creeping this in the street, written words, they confessions of darker times. Lyrics bound in pain, gag to sleep. Hey guys, what's up? This is John from All Points TV, and and I think your followers will know you, but I'll introduce you guys to if there's somebody out there who doesn't already know who you are. This is Paul, Paul we're Project Born, and also Hoodoo, both in the uh, in studio today. So how are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing good. Doing good. Appreciate yeah. you having us. Yeah, well, always, it's always a pleasure to have you guys in because, I mean, you guys are probably some of the hardest working people I know in the music music world locally. And, well, Hoodoo's not locally, actually. He's no, no. from the big state of Indiana. No. Right, right. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, I'd like to. Um, I, we catch up with you every so often, and um, you guys are still. This is new stuff we're listening to right now, right? Uh, it's uh, it's older stuff. It's uh, it's off of the new album coming out. I just kind of it's it's kind of like the best of type album. Yeah, now you see, I got your poster up here, and you're gonna have you're gonna have two CDs to drop soon, right? Right. Yeah, are they already dropped? They drop September first. Okay, cool. Yeah. And now um, we'll go over that too, where people can find them or whatever. But, okay. Uh, so you guys been here about you know, last time I think I talked to Chris is about you know Polk is about a year a little bit about a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. So like you've been busy since then too. Yeah, man. We uh, working, man. You know me and my homies, my guys in the group project. When we got some things working on. 
Now, how many guys are in Project Born? So we can tell the you know first time listener or viewer how many people are working that you know a part of that lineup. It's three of us: is me, Frank Nitty, and Pine Capone. I know they've been here at different times on and off, so we've had them in here too. And you guys are pretty big in this area, and also you get a, the group that you guys work with are like three or four states you guys co collaborate with and do different shows in different states. So right, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Got to stay working, man. You know. Yep. So, yeah. so um, anyway, we're um, covering. Um, both of you guys have uh, stuff to go on, but it's kind of sticking up with uh, who was talking about what he's been doing now and mm -hmm. uh, and the project, uh, dropping these two CDs is right. This right. is a big thing. Two at one time. Yeah. Uh, there was, uh, you know, I started putting together the CD, and there were so many uh, tracks that I liked off of it. I couldn't do just one CD; it wouldn't all fit. So, yeah. so uh, I did uh, the Smile Now, Cry Later, Volume One and Two. So that way, you know, one's a more upbeat and um, positive type stuff, and then the the other one is like deeper, more thinking type tracks i tried to keep them separate so you could kind of go with one or the other like different moods i think you got right. the different packaging right and right like that too so i mean now then uh there's a couple of bands that done that they have like so much material that they just produce like they would have one cd and then they release it i think um years ago i was um damn i can't remember the band that did that um use your illusion one and two or oh man and was it um yeah they did that god i can't remember the band but i can remember the yeah but anyway yeah. they do that too so i mean and that's means you're prolific that means you're prolific you got so much stuff there you just gonna put it down on one one cd right. you know? it's you know i didn't know exactly how many tracks that i've done and been a part of until i started going through it and there was there's tracks i don't even remember doing <laughs> now both of you guys work with other band uh, groups i mean you basically have your own like solo stuff plus the stuff you do with your normal band your normal working group and then you can make guest appearances all over the place i guess don't you no, we try to stay a little busy yeah. uh, if the demand is up man you know we gotta feed it so yeah, I mean that's that's cool. I mean, and you like working with other people. That's like, but some people are so like artistic; they have a hard time lowering their you know their egos a bit to work with other people. And I don't get that get from you guys. You seem like you're on board to help all the other people. I think that's pretty right. encouraging. Yeah. yeah, we always, especially like me speaking to me, like anybody in my city, you know, in Flint, I always tell them I support it. I get on Facebook or wherever the social sites, I let them know I support Flint music. I share their music and hit them up, whatever. Let them know if I can help them with anything. I'm with it. Because I think we talked about this one time too. It's like you—it's not just one genre or two genres you work with them or really want to promote. You go across the board on that. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So whatever. We, we with it. My music is music. You know? I like working with good people, no matter what genre they in. You know. And um, I think that's the same thing with Hoodoo there. So right. yeah, it's like uh, how many people have you actually worked with? Other organizations, other oh, bands, man. whatever. We're, we're getting up there in age now. I don't even know if we can count all of them. <laughs> now, you've been in music, both of you guys have been in music for quite a while now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, how, how long would you say, Hoodoo? Oh, man, uh, probably around 12, 12, 14 years, something like that, maybe. Probably about the same for you, wasn't it, Pope? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm pushing, like, 22. Wow, just, you know that's that's encouraging, and also you guys have you you know you have other pressures. You still try to maintain your artistic output, plus right. you have the daily grind like the rest of us. Right, you right. got kid, both of you have kids, or mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Jeez, I don't know how you guys do it. Um, let's go on. Like, see, you know, now this summer, um, were you on tour or anything, or are you heading out on tour soon, or? Um, uh, haven't got them. They haven't been on tour or whatever. Been doing shows, you know, spot shows here, but we're working on trying to go out on the road once we drop our uh, new CD, whatever, around October. So it's like, you both have got, I mean, I don't know, I, I respect that. I mean, it's like I do the recordings of other people's stuff, so basically I sit here, get to the, you know, I get it going and then they carry it, they carry it. But you guys have to do the whole thing. You have everything, to, right. you have to do everything, come up with the material. Find, you know you have to have it in mind what you want to do i mean that's right. i think that's mind boggling, boggling how you guys can any musician yeah, can keep yeah. that all going at the same time being independent that's why it's like good like we working on right now i'm getting you know our team together a good good quality team that can handle you know different aspects of the business and we focus on you know being artists and you know also but also looking over everything make sure it's done right so that's what we're working on right now it's coming together good now like um i don't know like um how does this now? How do you guys go about starting? You're playing, you know, creating music. Do you do you have a hook in your head or something like that? What what start? What promotes the process? What's the genesis of that usually? For just the beat first, you know, you get the track, yep. and that then you just basically just 
form everything around that. Then you think of the hybrid, your process, you write hook first or verses, hybrid. We all, we all, I think we all do different, got different ways of putting the songs together, you know, but it's. it's yes, yeah, it's, most of the time I go in, if I start recording, I got to hear the beat first and I write right then. I don't, I don't usually have something pre-planned right. and uh, it just kind of comes together after about, you know, 20 or 30 rewrites and stuff like that. Right. Now, like, you know, I guess this is like for musicians who have lyrics. I mean, your lyrics come from personal experiences. Is that true for you as well? Or? Yep. Personal experiences or something you've seen, you know, that you can basically tell a story like reading a book, you know, when they tell fictional stories. Not not fictional, but they happen, but, you know, you're telling it from your angle, what you've seen. Well, I guess there might be a degree of fi you know, fictionalizing, yeah, right, because right. sometimes you have to keep the names of the innocent gu yes, or exactly. guilty kind of away from right, the right. public consumption, because let's face it, it'll, it'll bite you if it gets out there, and they know <laughs> too much if you're talking about them. They're going to they're gonna find a way of suing you. So. Right. But anyway, um, we um, you had a couple of tracks on here, and you, we'll, we'll talk about the one we already played. Well, um, well, how long ago was that in the works? Uh, it's It's been a couple years mm -hmm. um i think it was on uh, the outro It'll be like my third third album i think um that was ev on there with uh me and polk and it's uh, it's so uh, me and ev used to do a lot of stuff together a lot of shows and stuff and and we had our own group there for a little bit and it's just uh i don't know we always we always mesh together good right now like um no, do you when you do the collaborative process? Do you usually want to be in the same room, or do you do you like lay down something and send it to the person and see right. what they can add to it? Or how do you guys go about that? Right. Everybody on that song that you just played is in three different states. Yeah. So we just get the beat, yeah. get the beat, and send it back to it was send it back to him and did yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's um, it's I it's ideal to have everybody together, but right. you know we can't always do that because we're so far apart. So, right. I mean, I work with artists in the UK and artists in different states and about all you can do is sometimes just ship it back and forth and do it that way so I don't know if you've seen it. I forget what commercial was but it talks about how this you know the um, computerization and digitalization has changed the world and yes. they say like um, a band in say New York City could be a big a big hit over in Japan before all even right. across town in New York City you know, so I mean, you have that going on too. A lot of times, people are recognize your stuff further away from way away out of side of your hometowns. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you know, like with me, when when we was first starting doing back in the '90s, computers wasn't. You couldn't send no email to nobody to do the song and send it back. You had to be there. Right. You know, and on ADATs and stuff like that. So it's a lot done change, and it, and it it works out better. I, I think it's amazing too, because I mean, I mean, I just can imagine years ago when they had to do everything by post, you know, you know, to send everything to a post office. They had like all these reel to reels going yeah, across. Reels, right? Yeah, and I don't think that probably happened as often as this currently can happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, mm -hmm. um, because the collaborative process is probably there's probably a ter like a shelf life to it too. You maybe you had a great idea, you have to get right on it that mm -hmm. same way the other person you're working with. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, do you want to play the other track and we'll go on and talk about uh, that? Yeah, this, um, this, is, this seems to be most people's favorite. Uh, I'll see if I can pull this up. It's like one thing about the, uh, okay, well, okay, and this one is called Raining Bullets? Raining Bullets. Okay. Tell me and Polk, yeah. Okay, so we'll play this out. I'll have your mics down so you guys can talk amongst yourself and we'll come back. And cool. we'll, we'll play this all the way through probably then, right? All right. Sure. You and me. In my lane, it's a shame how you both motherfuckers try to blame. Go false, cause you lame. You say money ain't a thing, but it's funny how you round town scraping up the chain. Two shots, close range. A motherfucking mess. One head, one chest. Now it's family do a press. There's a killer out west, then the killer on the east. South side, midwest, in the belly of the beast. I'm a motherfucking beast. Rap game is my beat. I'm the best in the street. Saint Center on the beat. Yeah. There's a warning at the end of the street. It says you all about to end and no escape from the dream. And there's no end to the means. The streets are torn apart at the scene Somebody looking up cause it's real 
breathing bullets There's a warning at the end of the street It says you're all about to end and no escape for the dream And there's the wind that it means The streets torn apart at the seams Nobody looking up cause it's breathing bullets How many wishes make it in your right head Before they gotta take a look back and see what landed them there It's like my life's too close to being breathless again And I'm just looking through the lines and try to read them again Waste my time trying to find a rewind My life's on the line, I'm plotting, trying to make a move Next dude with the attitude is rolling smooth Nah dude, I'm just running chasing seconds I'm sick of having nothing, I ain't ready for redemption I'm just trying to get some. See the world gonna change right in front of our eyes Can't nobody stop the schemes up inside of our minds So I gotta get it back on this track and take what's mine Get myself right back up in this crowd Too many people wishing that they was with us They ain't ready, they ain't coming back through We rolling in the black Chevy And when we hit the spot, press it unlock It's gonna rain right tonight At the end of the street, it says you all about to and no escape from the dream And there's no yeah. end to the means The streets are torn apart at the seams Nobody looking up cause it's raining bullets There's a warning at the end of the street It says you're all about to end And no escape from the dream And there's no end to the means The streets are torn apart at the seams Nobody looking up cause it's raining bullets There's a warning at the end of the street It says you're all about to end And no escape from the dream And there's no end to the means The streets are torn apart at the seams Nobody looking up cause it's raining bullets There's a warning at the end of the street It says you're all about to end and no escape from the dream And there's no end to the means The streets torn apart at the seams Nobody looking up cause it's raining boys yeah, anybody that's been around Flint around New Year's Eve knows what that sounds like. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, right. yeah, have you had the pleasure of being around here, Hoodoo, for New Year's? I or? have not. We have a few people pop off and stuff but that, it, up it, there. But I think I think Paul can contest it was along with me. It's like it's insane. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yeah, man. I was like one day I was walking across. I was like it was well past the twelve o'clock hour, so I was walking back somewhere. And there's, there's, there's like you can hear it coming down in the trees. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, anybody's been around here. Well, now, who, now, whose idea was that song? Is that yours or? Uh, a, yeah. <laughs> it just kind of came. To, I don't even remember. I just it came together. Because <laughs> I, I listened to this one. I'm like, this, this could be relevant to anybody from Flint, man. Right, yeah. This. Or probably any other city, I guess. You know, it's got the same problem. Idiots with guns out there just yeah, shooting yeah. randomly. Right. But anyway, um, that's a gr it's a great song. It's got a great feel to it. There, um, now, like, um. Now let's see. Uh, that's like the. Well, how would you consider that more of the upbeat song? Or would you consider that more of a real song or what? It, it could be taken either way, I guess. Um, if you're singing about it, you've got something to be happy about, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. right, right. And it's. It, I mean, that's really that's the one that everybody seems to like. Is that track more than most of them? And, and I like it too. It's it's catchy, and uh, but we've been kind of sharing that around me and me and Polker talking about doing a album together here later on and uh right. hopefully be that type of music see i'd like to hear that on a soundtrack of a movie like a movie man right. I mean, especially yeah. if we ever made a movie about flint that would have to be in there somewhere Added in one right. of the scenes yeah it's like it has to be in there <laughs> right. gotta be it's, right because i mean it's like uh, i hear songs too and i i actually come up with imagery you know like um you know, like um, against the wind. I had the imagery of that, and then years later they came up with the video for that. So you know, Bob Bob Seger song, and it was like amazing. Whoever did that video had the same, almost the same images I had for that song. Yeah. So I mean, that doesn't happen too often. But um, right. now, do you do videos for your uh, songs? Um, I have uh, videos for. Um, oh man, um, True Life. Yeah, or, say, where do I do them at? No, I mean, I know. Do you have them? But and what do you do um, down I, in Indiana? Or? Yeah, I do. I, I do. Um, uh, there's a guy in Indiana. We use uh, Johnny Israel. He's real good at videos. Uh, dude knows what he's doing. So uh, he did a track with me and Ed Money a while back called True Life. Um, and I've got a few, f just different ones. You know, whenever we can make a video, we make one. Yeah. Now, see, uh, years ago, back in MTV days, was when MTV actually played music. Mm. I don't know what the hell yeah, they're doing now. I don't know what they're doing now either. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. Ago. It's like, anyway, um, they, that was a big rush. I mean, uh, nowadays, it would be so easy. I mean, I've seen people, I've seen fans put together great movies clips for, you know, alternative oh, shows yeah. for Star Wars. Could you imagine somebody going out there for their, like, these small bands, rap artists and stuff, coming out there and somebody actually doing that for them? You could, I mean, you could be way off the hook. Oh, with yeah. The stuff you got available now. Right. So, I mean, years ago, you look at some of the stuff MTV put out, it was like, it's good. I mean, I'm not going to knock it. It had a huge budget, but nowadays, somebody with, in their basement oh, yeah. could do something just as good and yeah. even would probably yeah. outshine it. With know? camera phone or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the audio, the video from that's tremendous. Mm -hmm. I mean, from iPhone, you know, iPhones are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, yeah, um, now Polk, now um, do you ever have a? Do you ever do a video for one of your songs? Have you ever done that? We haven't done it in, uh, far as far as our group, whatever, in a minute, or whatever. But we we gonna have quite a few of them for this new new CD. That's like um, because yeah. the um, I think that's kind of cool. I mean, it's some people said it kind of took away from the music, you know, because it basically give didn't allow the listener to come up with their own imagery. But right. I think it, I mean, it was, it's, it's just kind of a weird thing sit in front of a TV and listen to squ see squiggly lines and listen to music. Mm -hmm. They right. do that at a few of the other music services. Now, do you have any of your music out on the? Um, where do you, where could people listen to outside of getting your CD? Where could they listen to your stuff? Both you and Polk. For mine, uh, you can go to hoodoo.net. Um, I think there's a little music. I try to keep the info on there. Uh, the albums that are coming out September 1st, they'll be for sale, digital or physical there. Uh, iTunes. Um, I think I've got a SoundClick page. It's kind of anywhere. You can pretty much just type in hoodoo and, and something's going to come up. <laughs> so, uh, same thing with YouTube. Um, type in my name and I, I know a lot of stuff pops up there's videos and live footage and all that stuff so and all the same thing for you Paul yeah or? same yeah uh, <clears throat> we got some songs on our website therealprojectborn.com like I said YouTube go to iTunes all the Amazon all that everywhere uh, was there one Pandora all that <clears throat> so yeah Pandora Spotify, too Spotify yes. mm -hmm. all that yes yeah. hello yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. Yeah, see, that, I make this uh, comment during most of the interviews about musicians and music. Um, years ago, I used to get a record label interest in you. They signed you. They did, they did the promoting. And basically, some people complain about how that limited who was going to be heard. Mm -hmm. But now, it's awfully hard for an uh, independent artist, like you both of you, to actually get the momentum going. And it's kind of a, you got the availability of the audience, but now getting the audience to listen to what you're doing is kind of, that's where the sticking point is, isn't it? Right. It's, see, I, uh, I recently, I actually took a little break from music for a, quite a while. And um, just, just recently started doing all this, and, and it seems to be, building up fast i mean i appreciate everybody that still supports and, and hits me up on music and stuff because uh i was i was thinking i was i was gonna have to start all over from the bottom you know and come back and uh i'm, I'm still having to start off a little low but uh it's nice that people remember me, you know. <laughs> so. he, was, he was having a midlife crisis. I was, I was. A midlife crisis at how old? <laughs> no. I think I, I actually had a midlife crisis when I was reaching 25 because I didn't think I was going to live beyond that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And totally irrational. And I'm 54, so obviously that didn't right, manifest. Right. But, you know. Now, um, what do you guys want to see yourself doing, say, two years from now? Because I don't want to say five years because let's face it. I mean, you guys don't go quite a bit. You've been around for quite a bit. And right. what would you like to see yourself do in two years? Both of, that question's for both of you, by the way, so. Who wants to jump in? Me, man, two years. <clears throat> One thing I want to do in the next two years, I'm, of course, well, next year I'm going to do and drop my me a solo uh, CD because I've always been wanting to you know, make that happen. But two years from now, I just want to be in a position to where I could be able to help new artists come up, you know, give them the game that I learned and help them get out there and pursue their dreams, you know, be a, you know, factor in the game like that. Because I ain't going to always be the, be the artist in the forefront. I want to be in the back, you know showing these young artists how to come up because our our young artists today man they need guidance they think it's all about going to the studio yeah. making a song it's done give it to their neighborhood but if you really want it you know that's what i want to show them just be dedicated and have the love for it in your heart and you know you can get it so that's what i want to do man be helping our you know young fellas young women sounds admirable so same question you do so. yeah that, uh, i mean that sounds i guess when you get a little older it's uh it's it's more about stepping back helping the, the new the new era coming in all right um yeah I'd, I'd like to be doing the pretty much the same thing really i like uh i'm working with a few artists now that are just coming up and they're uh i just have a good time doing that and uh, hopefully hopefully show them what uh how to get around what i had to go through you know yeah. the mistakes i made and stuff and, and help them over that but i mean other than that i just uh yeah, help out artists, spend some time with the family. Just now, would you now would you encourage your own family? You know, your own kids. I don't know for boys or girls, but would you encourage your own kids to go into the into the business? If, yeah, if that's what they want to do, um, mm -hmm. they need to be a little a little smarter about some of it than I was. But <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, if the, if that's what they want to do, I'm, I'm behind them. So now it's like, and you, you're a part of a, you know, that group, I can't remember, the production group you guys were all involved with a few years ago. Split and side. I, split side. Split side. Mm -hmm. They are like, I remember one time it was like, uh, you had like shows in three different states in one, one night. Yeah. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. and that's, that's a, that's a tremendous, um, 
achievement, you know, for a small product production group. And that's bigger now. It's gotten bigger or what? Uh, we, uh, it's, it kind of leveled off for a while, but we've, we've actually uh, started building it up again. And, and um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start coming back real strong. Uh, our whole crew is going to, you know, we're building it back up. And uh, it's always been around, though. It's never, never gone away. No, I just think that I was I was impressed by that number of you know the show was going up on the same night. Uh, that's yeah. it takes a lot of coordination, a lot of effort, and it takes a lot of you know. Let's face it, you got to have the talent pool to draw from. Yeah. Right. So I mean that's tremendous. Um, now what do you um? What I was gonna say now, uh, if somebody is like, uh, could they contact you here? You have somebody out there, maybe you know, Polk's here in the Flint, Flint area, mm-hmm. and you're in Indiana. Somebody's out there and, and they're listening to this, and they're from one of your areas, mm-hmm. and they have something. Would you want to say? Would you encourage them to? You know, contact you and see what you can maybe work together and stuff, or are you just more happy with the group you're working with currently? Uh, I'm me. I'm always open to working with new artists. I mean, not necessarily being new, where anybody. You know what I'm saying? If you if you about your, it ain't. <clears throat> I mean, they got to be serious artists. That's why I would say that. Don't you can't just come to me and say, I want to do something with you to do a song, and then you don't try to do nothing with it. But all serious artists, Flint, around the country, we can make it happen. You know. Yeah. I, I like the thing is like uh, I've uh, Tom Sumner who does a show he does a, he used to do a show from here he does it somewhere other else but he used to say that the talent pool in and around Flint is about as good as you're going to find anywhere else in the country and I think that's like it's that's a very telling statement it's also a very accurate statement because um, we have a tendency that people who aren't involved in trying to talk to people who are doing creative activities in their own area have a tendency to think it only happens in New York or LA. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've dealt with people and talked to people who I think if they just had, if they they got the attention of the right people, they could have gone further, further than the people who are currently considered the big name acts. Right. And then you know the thing with, with Flint, it's a lot of talent, like you said, a lot, a lot, but the unity isn't there. Like if, if all the artists, whether it's rap music, whatever music you do, if we all came together and said, you know what, let's start working together. You got some that work with each other, but a lot of it is distant. A lot of us don't deal with each other, and it's not just necessary beef or nothing like that. Just don't come together. We all came together and said, you know what? Let's put a plan together and make get more attention brought to Flint. As far as music-wise, I think we, we can make a lot of more bigger things happen. Well, hey, I'm going to put this out there. If anybody is out there who is from the Flint area, and hey, if they're all from the area where Hoodoo is from, too, I mean, you can contact him probably. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, if they're really interested in that, I mean, the studio is here in Flint, but um, if they want to come in here for interviews or we can even do phone-in interviews and right. we can bring up their stuff and play some of their stuff, maybe get them some exposure. Because, see, I think that's what it is. If we're, mid- all, we're all Midwestern people. Right. I mean, although I consider Michigan be the Great Lakes state, but, I mean, we're still considered part of the Midwest, Indiana, Ohio, mm. up, you know, Michigan. And I I think we got to kind of have a collaborative efforts because, right. I mean, let's face it. I mean, we are facing. I mean, let's face it. We don't do something like that. A lot of people are not going to just simply get recognition. They should probably, you right, know, right. because Flint, Flint is known for a violent city, and when this, when you talk violence, don't nobody want to pay attention to no city because they think we all knuckleheads. So we we that's what that's what I try to do. I try to when I when I get out and network with people, I let them know. Look, we can work together. Do something. Flint ain't all about what you're hearing. You might hear the bad things going on, everything that's going on, but when it comes to the music, it's good people there that you can you know, get with and network with and do some things with. So that's what I try to put that off to people when I go to other states. A lot of people hit us up all the time to do work, you know what I'm saying? Because we, the type of guys you can approach and you know, say, hey, what's happening? Let's, let's do something, you know? So. Anyway, I guess we're going to wrap this up for the day because, I mean, now thank you very much. I mean, I, I'm always impressed that Hoodoo comes up for all the way from Indiana. Right. And you're and you're taking time out of your busy schedule because I know you're a working man, too. So, And, I mean, I'm glad you come in here because, I mean, I like to keep in contact. Like I said, um, it's not the genre I grew up with, you know, the type of music right. I grew up with. But I, I appreciate a work ethic. I, I appreciate about, people right. putting themselves out there. And I don't know how many people actually thought about putting yourself out there like you guys do. Right. How, how how demanding physically and emotionally that is on a, on yeah, a person. You know? yeah, man. Yeah, it can be stressful. Right. That's yeah. for sure, man. Appreciate you for always you know having open up your doors for us, man. Yeah, when we, yeah. we want to come through and you know put out a word what we got going on. So you know, anyway, here now again, we'll give all information where people can reach you. Um, who do you want to go first, and both, then you know, or you want to go either way. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, hoodoo.net is the main website, or you can get hold of me at hoodoo twenty nine at Yahoo. I try to keep that email open for people who want to talk collabs or business or something. Um, other than that, just just 
Google my name, you'll find it. And um, we'll wait till he gets back here. And um, yeah, so yeah, folks. So anyway, uh, you know, all people can get hold of you. Are they on Facebook, obviously, right? Uh, Facebook. I'm on Facebook. Chris Poker, but it's mainly uh, Project Born on Facebook. Uh, hit us up, therealprojectborn.com. And like, if you want to get with us about business and anything, business at therealprojectborn.com. Like he say, if you type in Project Born, a million things will come up, man, and reach out to us. And it's always good to talk to you guys. I mean, I'm always like impressed by your 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 like your uh, work ethic and also your just your your drive. That's just right. that's really intense. So Appreciate thank you again for showing up. And uh, people, like I said, get all these guys, man. If you have, if you want to hear their stuff, you want to buy buy their stuff. Right. <laughs> Support them that way. Support. So have a good one, guys, and thank uh, you again. I right. appreciate, appreciate it. it man.